This is code.org, and this is a check for understanding. All right, so here's how to handle these guys. Keep in mind, once you put your answers in here and hit submit, it gets submitted to your teacher. If I'm your teacher, me, but keep that in mind. You want to give these a shot, right? Edge cases, class handler, method signature, constructor signature. You want to try. You want to read through these and attempt always, and that's how you learn it. That's how when you see these on, a, I don't know, a future really important exam, you will have a grasp of them. The great thing about code.org is once you go through these, you have so many resources. So I'm going to click up here on lesson 13, which is where I'm at. And look, lesson resources. So I'll start since we were on 13. I'm going to check these out first. Let's see. Inheritance. Um, I don't think that was one of ours. It's not, which is fine because we have so many resources. Lesson resources, 12. Uh, edge case. A bug that occurs at the highest or lowest range end of a range of possible values in extreme situations. Yep. And to put that in perspective, a bug that occurs, yep. Um, an edge case would be something like you need a calculator and you allow division, except a calculator can't divide by zero, right? You can't divide anything by zero. So your calculator breaks instead of saying, you know, error, the app just crashes. That would be considered an edge case because almost always that division would work, right? But this one thing might break everything. All right. So let's go ahead and see uh, redundant code method. Nope, neither of those. Let's check out 11. Concatenation. No, not that. 10. If else, logical operator. And we have class header method signature, constructor signature. So not those. Let's try a few of these. 9. Nope. Nope. Method signature. Lesson 7. Consists of the name and parameter list. Yep. And so when thinking about that, guys, a method signature, and we've mentioned this a bazillion times, um, this right here, although it's a fancy one, is a method signature. The name of that method would be main. Just a quick example there. All right. And so we have class header and constructor signature. Constructor signature, lesson six. The first line of the constructor includes the public keyword, the constructor name, right? So signatures contain their name, just like when you sign yours, and values specific to the object, all right? So let's head back over here. The first line of the, that's the constructor. We could guess on this, but let's find it. Let's be exact. Lesson two as class header. Consists of the class keyword and the name of the class. Yep. Boom, boom. Consist of class keyword and name of the class. And just again, we can jump over to here. My neighborhood's the class header. All right, that's all looking good. Use your resources. Onward.